Today I'm excited to give everyone a look at the drag and drop page builder that powers our new landing page theme. We have completely rethought the way that pages are structured within WordPress, allowing you to take advantage of advanced elements without ever having to touch a line of code or get lost in a sea of messy shortcodes. So let's take a look at how it works. Here you can see what we call the canvas. This is what you, where you will be dragging, dropping, resizing, and rearranging all the elements on your page. Right now we don't have any modules added, so let's add one. The first thing we're going to want to add to our page is our logo. So click the Add Module button to reveal a list of all the available modules. We want to add a logo, so I'm going to drag and drop the logo module onto our canvas. Once added, you can click the Settings link to configure the module. For the logo, we're going to need to upload an image, so I'll click the Upload button and drop our logo inside. Click Use This Image and save. Now let's take a look at our page. You can see we have just the logo centered just like you see on our canvas. So let's add some more modules. Below the logo I'm going to add a nice ribbon header. Click the settings, add some text into the text editor and save. Refresh our page. You can see we have our logo and our ribbon text. Let's add a couple more things. Below that I want to have a box of text to the left and a YouTube video on the right. So I'm going to drag the paper box onto the canvas and the video box. What's really cool about these modules is that they can be resized on the fly with your mouse. So if we want the paper on the left and the video on the right, we just need to drag the size down to below 50% for each module and they will automatically float next to each other like this. So let's add some text to the box and let's add a YouTube video on the right, the right like this. Simply input the URL to the video and save and let's take a look at what we have. As we saw on our canvas we have a block of text on the left and a video on the right. Now what's also cool is that if you don't want to resize things manually, you can use columns instead. Columns can be added to the grid just like modules. So instead of adding two boxes next to each other, let's use columns to add three blurbs in a row. I'm going to click add a column, and I'm going to drag the one-third column onto the canvas. You can see it's been added there. I want to add two more. And then we're just going to drag and drop our modules inside those columns. So I want to add three boxes, three little text blurbs. Drag and drop the box module inside each column, and then configure them like we did before. I'm just going to add some random text here. I'm going to make this a blue box. I'll make this one green. And the final one red. Now when we take a look at our page, we just have three perfectly evenly spaced boxes of red, green, and blue with some random text. Let's see what we have. And there we go. As you can see, it's really easy to visualize what your page is going to look like within the canvas. Now, aside from headers and boxes and text blocks, we can also add some really advanced things like tabs, image sliders, toggles. So let's add an image slider just to see how it works. Drag and drop the image slider module onto the canvas and click the settings link. We're going to add an image to our slider by clicking the add slider image and drag an image to upload it. Click insert into slider and you can see you get a nice preview of the image you've added. Let's add one more image, otherwise it's not much of a slider insert into the slider, and there you go. You can also rearrange the order of these, like that, by simply dragging and dropping. Click Save Changes, and let's take a look at our slider. Scroll down, and here we have a beautiful image slider. Just like that. Of course, this can be resized as well, as with any module. 
Now I have one more cool thing to show you, and that is that all modules also work as shortcodes, which means all of the modules that include the WordPress, WordPress text editor can have additional modules nested with inside them. Let's give you an example of what I mean. For example, if I wanted to add a button module within this box, I can simply drag and drop the button module inside the text editor, and we'll be prompted to configure that module. So let's drag a button inside. A nice pop-up box will appear. I'm going to add a blue button of medium size. It's not going to go anywhere right now. I'm going to add some text that says landing pages are cool. I want to align it to the center and save. Now you can see that the shortcode marker has been added. And we can put that wherever we want within the box and click save. Now when we refresh, we should have a nice blue button on the left there. There we go. And that's the uh, basic overview of the builder. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. Let me know what you think.